Let's go, L. Let's shoot. Picks up a commitment from Zion Williams. Yes, that is his actual name. Hopefully, the other Zion actually lives up to expectations this next year for the Pellies. But this Zion has some oomph to his game. And like the basketball Zion, he is thick. And he is someone that's not afraid of contact, not afraid of getting right in the middle of everything and making tackle football Play. So I'm going to tell you what I like, some things that do concern me, but as we always do with all of our recruiting videos, let's start things off with the actual recruitment. So this was a guy, if you actually go to his huddle page, you will see that he is there in a Texas Longhorn uniform. And this will be a common theme from player to player. Um, and, and it's something that we've talked about on live streams for so long, we as LSU fans have looked at Alabama as our main recruiting rival, and it very well still could be the case moving forward. Obviously, I think Alabama will continue to have a lot of success um, under their new tutelage, but it's going to be different, right? Saban was a guy who really loved to come to Louisiana and recruit LSU players, but I don't think Alabama is the main recruiting rival anymore for LSU. Nor do I think it's Texas A&M. We'll see what happens with Mike Elko. Obviously, A&M has won some recruiting battles versus LSU um, over the past couple of years. I think in the modern SEC, Texas is the school that LSU will recruit the most against. And Zion Williams is not the only 2025 player that LSU is battling for versus Texas as the main other option for a player. We might get to one in this video uh, a little bit later. But look, this is really good stuff because anytime you can win a recruiting battle versus Texas, it's a good day. Now, I understand the ranking doesn't look amazing. He is a four-star composite player. There is something that concerns me about his ranking. We'll get to that in a second. But I want to remain positive here because this is a Bo Davis recruit. Bo Davis, who is formerly the defensive line coach at Texas, is now at LSU. And he wins a nice recruiting battle here for a defensive tackle that he likes a lot. Give Blake Baker and that entire defensive staff a lot of credit for doing their due diligence and bringing in a guy who can really play across the middle of the defensive line. Now, let's get into the actual player himself. I love to see athleticism. I love to see that you also play offense, which Zion Williams does in goal line situations. Here he is in a three technique, taking on a double team and finding the football. That's one thing I consistently saw from him is he does find the football relatively quickly uh, for a guy who has to take on a lot of doubles. He's also a guy that has a pretty good motor and is a guy that consistently collapses the pocket. You see a good mixture on his tape of him lining up at something called a four-point stance, which you saw here with two hands in the dirt, and a three-point stance, which is your traditional defensive lineman stance with only one hand in the dirt. You also saw a mixture here of him playing a zero tech, which is straight head up on the center, which you see right here. At least it looks like a zero tech. Might be a little bit of a shade there, but who cares? There he is taking on the block and making another play. I like seeing that scheme versatility, especially with Blake Baker, who is going to be multiple up front, even though mostly he will probably base out of a four-man look. I do like having a guy who can play that zero nose. Now, as far as a zero nose concern, he's not necessarily a space eater like your Tyler Shelvin or Siaki Ika, but he is a guy who can play that zero nose position, take up blocks, um, and, and make plays. I do think he's more of a penetrator than he is a stalemater at the line of scrimmage. He likes to get into the backfield and actually go make plays, but I think he can develop into a guy whose main focus is to keep his heels even with the line of scrimmage and just clog up lanes. I think he can do that as well. And that is more of a philosophy decision with what LSU wants to do defensively. Do they want their defensive linemen to go back in there and penetrate and make plays, or do they want them to mostly stay at the line of scrimmage? I think Zion Williams can do 
both. So I do like to see versatility out of my players um, when it comes to the uh, high school ranks. That's something I do like a lot about the defensive line prospects that um, LSU has recruited this cycle. So there's a lot. There, there he is with the swim move, getting into the backfield and making a sack. Love to see that. So I like Zion Williams. I, I don't think he's necessarily someone that just absolutely positively floors me, but he is very solid and can turn into a really good defensive line prospect. I don't know if I would give him uh, that coveted year one grade just on ba- just based on what I see. Uh, I do think he would be more of a year two player, but we'll see what this senior tape uh, shows. And once again, I do love the fact that he remains active and is always looking to find the football to make a tackle. So there is a lot that I like, uh, and I am really excited to see what he can do with the best defensive tackles coach in the country in Bo Davis next year. Now, we'll get into a few things that do slightly uh, concern me with Zion. The first thing here is the actual recruiting ranking itself. ESPN and Rivals has him rated way higher than On3 and 247, and those two services are probably the more well-respected services. And as you can see, it is a pretty big discrepancy. But obviously, that's not the be-all, end-all. And trust me, a three-star with Bo Davis is better than most four-stars with other defensive line coaches. So a big W here as LSU looks to build a pretty nice defensive line crop. If not, well, they'll be back where they were last year, having to bid for the best transfers in the country. Now, a little extra bonus for you. So this is Jakeem Thanos Stewart, the 2026 five-star, can't-miss defensive line prospect out of New Orleans, Louisiana, and this guy will be the most coveted defensive lineman in quite some time, and what I love, even though both these reps are kind of sloppy, is just the fight. Now, I want you to take a look at these other repetitions. It's not going to work. Don't tell me it's not going to work. 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 Shut up. So you got to see the other reps, and as you can see, he is a clear-cut five-star prospect across the board for the class of 2026. There is rumors that he could reclassify to 2025. Now, why talk about him on Zion Williams' recruiting tape? Well, Zion Williams, very nice prospect, but this is a five-star can't-miss guy in the state of Louisiana, and the thing that did concern me some is he was wearing Ohio State gloves in that practice video, and Ohio State, Larry Johnson, their defensive line coach, probably has as good of a reputation as Bo Davis. I I will just say he probably has the best reputation amongst defensive line coaches in the country. Uh, Stewart is very interested in going to Ohio State. We cannot let that happen, even though that is him going outside the SEC footprint. So it doesn't hurt us as badly as if he decided to go to Alabama or something like that. But this is the type of guy that you want to for sure be a part of this next crop. And notice I say next, if he is a 2025 guy that reclassifies, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it'll be a 2026, but it is in the cards. Um, And look, 
I'm not the biggest fan of that one-on-one pass rush drill. Ironically, that was a drill I was uh, the best at. I went to not like a rival's, you know, elite camp like that, but I went up against better offensive linemen, and there's ways you can game uh, that drill. But what I wanted to show you was he consistently went up against the best players at that camp. And that competitiveness, that drive, that dog mentality is something that's been missing from the LSU defensive line. Um, the guy is just an incredible, fun athlete uh, who, who I think would bring some of that mean streak back to LSU. And look, uh, he's kind of a tweener at around the 270, 275 range, but the dude is just a flat-out playmaker, and he has shown you some ball skills as a 2025 defensive tackle, defensive end type of player. And I think the way that he plays would fit in well with what Blake Baker wants out of his defensive line. So this is a guy that LSU, I mean, there's no such thing as a must-get recruit, but you've got to do whatever it takes uh, to get him because this is the true needle-moving player that they need, and I do think he is good. I do have some concerns, but once again, this was him as a high school sophomore just taking over games repeatedly. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think LSU will still get Stewart? There are other defensive line prospects that uh, they are after in 2025, but the main target for 2026 should absolutely positively be number 90 for St. Aug, which of course Leonard Fournette, a lot of the coaches on staff, we know the St. Aug uh, mentality and, and history. So this guy is truly special, and I, I really enjoyed seeing him in that Rivals Elite camp go up against elite guy after elite guy after elite guy. And another five-star who was like that was Will Campbell. You know, Will Campbell at these camps was always going up against the Walter Nolans uh, of the world. So you love to see it. Floating in your face, some other fun videos. Check it out. It is Power Hour LSU. Boom. And tonight, we're doing some Crab Rangoon. Let's go.